Hello and welcome to another video. So today we look at how to install Droidcam OBS plugin for OBS Studio. First of all, you need to ensure that you have OBS Studio installed. I currently have OBS version 28, so I have it installed. Now we need to install the Droidcam OBS plugin so that we can use the phone camera as a video source for the OBS Studio. So first, let's search for the Droidcam OBS plugin, go to your browser and type Droidcam OBS search. So let's click this one. And on this website, you need to scroll to the bottom and select based on the version of your OBS Studio. So I'm with the version 28, so I click this one and I'm on Linux. Now, after it redirects you to Get up. We scroll to the bottom. And then here we also have two versions. There's a Droid Cam OBS plugin version 1.51, and there's version 1.60. Now the one you download depends on your system. Just go to the terminal and type ffmpeg hyphen version. Now, as you can see, I already have FFMPGE version, version 5. So, that means I'm using this one. So, I should install the Droidcam OBS version 1.6.0. So, click this one. And it will redirect to this download page. And here you can download. So, I need the one for... Linux, so I download this one. So once you have finished downloading, go to the folder and close the browser. Now, this one we need to extract, extract here, and then go to the extracted folder. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to this bin and copy this dreadcam OBS dot so file I'll input my password and this is a file manager so then we need to navigate to other locations computer and then we proceed to a USR then lib And then we need to we need to look for OBS plugin. So this is OBS plugins. Now we need to paste the Droidcam file here. Then come to this folder and right click paste. So I already have it. I'll just replace it. The downloaded file and then go to data. And then so we need to copy the all local file copy and then we go to so it's usr share go to obs and then inside obs we go to obs plugins and here we need to paste first of all we need to create a folder named droid cam droid Dreadcom hyphen OBS great so I already have it okay so I go inside the folder and paste here so I've already pasted these are the files and we are almost done the last thing you need to do is make sure that ADB is installed for USB support. Now to do that, here are the, the commands to do that. So depending on if you are Debian based, here is the command for that. I'm on HP system, so I'll copy this one. And then I'll go to the terminal. First of all, let's clear it. So I'll go to the terminal and paste. 
enter and put my password I'll say yes let it finish now it's done so that's over now let's go to to OBS studio first of all we need to close it and then open it again now if you go to add sources you can see this dread come OBS now I'll click on that one then I'll go to my Android device go to Google Play Store and download dread come OBS I already have it installed and then also go to settings developer mode and enable USB debugging so I have that installed and uh, enable USB debugging so now I will open the Android OBS I've opened the Android OBS on my Android and I'll click OK over here select the resolution and say that one select yeah you can use Wi-Fi or USB so once you connect your Android device with USB USB debugging is on so let's refresh and here we have it my Android device has been detected so I'll select that one and then scroll and press activate yeah and thank you guys for watching